complete PCL examination was still end well demonstrated let's begin if you are new to this channel please subscribe press the bell icon for latest upcoming videos keep updated PCL prevents posterior translation of TBI. Isolated PCL injury occur due to direct blow at dashboard injuries indirectly by falling down on hyperflexed knee and plantar grade foot. The patient is 23 year old male with a 6 weeks old PCL injury we are able to see a proximal TBI lag. When you flex both the knees at 90 degree you are able to see the difference between the proximal TBI sagging down of left leg it is called sag sign. Tibial tuberosity is not as prominent as compared to the other limb. Coming to the second test, posterior drawer test. Flex the knee at 90 degree, fix the foot, holding the proximal tibial condyle, pull the tibia anteriorly. As the ACL is intact, it won't cross much anterior, but it goes posteriorly, translating much deeper. So you can see the posterior translation of tibia. If you are not overlooking for PCL injury, it may give false positive anterior drawer test. In order to avoid that, always compare with the opposite normal knee. You can see anterior translation is comparable to the left knee and there is no posterior translation. Let's go to our OT for third test, cordyceps active test. Knee at 90 degree flexion, fixing the foot, asking the patient for contracting cordyceps or ask the patient to extend the knee against resistance. You are able to see proximal translation of tibia because of the contraction of quadriceps patellar tendon is pulling the proximal tibia anteriorly from its previous posterior sagged position let's demonstrate dial test dial test originally performed in prone position at 30 degree knee flexion and 90 degree knee flexion by holding the calcaneus or midfoot maximum dorsiflex to avoid the rotation at the ankle and Simultaneously external rotate the foot. You can able to see both the foots external rotated equally. Difference of more than 10 degree of foot thigh angle signifies posterolateral injury at 30 degree flexion of knee. Performing the test at 90 degree knee flexion, holding the foot external rotate equally, you are able to see there is more than 10 degree of external rotation in the left foot signifying the PCL injury. Always repeat the test to confirm the findings. If the external rotation is more than 10 degree, both in 30 degree flexion and 90 degree flexion indicates both posterolateral injury and PCL injury. Reverse pivot shift test already made in separate video. You will find a link in description. Friends, if you like this video, press on thumbs up button and kindly comment. If you want to discuss any other topic, please let me know.